Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus 6 bracket factorial over x plus 2 bracket factorial is equal to 1680. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, from here x plus 6 bracket factorial, this we make this to have common x plus 2 bracket factorial. So this x plus 6 bracket factorial is same as x plus 6 bracket then it reduced by 1 it will be x plus 5 bracket then times x plus 4 bracket then times x plus 3 bracket then times x plus 2 bracket then factorial this is same as this in the denominator so over this in the denominator which is x plus 2 bracket factorial is equal to 1680 then to simplify this x plus 2 bracket factorial will cancel this so it will be this which is x plus 6 bracket times x plus 5 bracket times x plus 4 bracket times x plus 3 bracket is equal to this 1608 then in the next step we'll take this x plus 6 times x plus 3 so it will be bracket bracket x plus 6 bracket times x plus 3 bracket so we'll multiply this together and this will multiply together x plus 5 times x plus 4 so it will be bracket x plus 5 times x plus 4 bracket is equal to this 1608 then in the next step it will be we'll take we'll multiply this together so it will be x times x is x square x times 3 it will be plus 3 x 6 times x it will be plus 6 x this times this it will be plus 18 bracket then plus i mean times we we'll multiply this together x times x is x square plus x times 4 is 4 x plus 5 times x is 5 x then plus 5 times 4 is 20 bracket is equal to this 1680 then it will be x square plus 3x plus 6x is 9x then plus this 18 bracket then times here to be x square then plus 4x plus 5x it is 9x then plus this 20 bracket is equal to this 1608 then in the next step here x square plus 9x x square plus 9x is common so into here 18 and 20 between 18 and 20 it is 19 so we'll make 19 in common so it will be this which is x square plus 9x then plus 18 is same as 19 minus 1 bracket then times this which is x square plus 9x then plus 20 is same as 19 plus 1 bracket is equal to this 1680 then in the next step into here x square plus 9x plus 19 this is common so we'll let let's say u is equal to which is common this this x square plus 9x plus 19 so our equation will be u minus 1 so u minus 1 bracket times u plus 1 u plus 1 bracket is equal to this which is 1680 then in the next step from this this is in the form of a perfect square so we'll apply a perfect square rule which is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b bracket bracket a plus b bracket 
whereas this is in this form so we'll change into this form so it will be a square it is this u square then minus b square it is this one square whereas one square is still one is equal to this 1680 then in the next step we'll take this negative one to the right side so it will be u square is equal to this plus one it will be 1681 then to find the value of u we'll apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel this square then it will be u is equal to square root of this here we separate it by 2 so square root of 16 it is 4 4 times 4 is 16 so this will be over then into here 4 plus 4 is 8 then here I'll write 1 1 times 1 1 and here I'll write 1 so 1 times 81 is 81 so will be, this will be over so square root of this number it is 41 so here it will be plus or minus 41 then from here we already get the values of u as we have two solutions so we we'll recall before we let u it is this quadratic expression x square plus 9x plus 19 so from u which is x square plus 9x plus 19 it will be equal to this which is plus or minus 41 then from here we have two solutions so it will be this with the first solution x square plus 9x plus 19 is equal to this positive it will be equal to 41 and the second solution is this which is x square plus 9x plus 19 is equal to negative it will be negative 41 then in the next step we'll take this 41 to the left side so it will be x square plus 9x then plus 19 this 41 take to this side to be minus 41 is equal to 0 then it will be x square plus 9x this here this here negative is greater so it will be negative here we borrow one to be 11 11 minus 9 is 2 here to be 3 3 minus 1 is 2 is equal to 0 and from here I'll take negative 41 to this side so it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 negative 41 take to this side to be plus 41 is equal to 0 so it will be x square plus 9x then plus this plus this is 0 10 so this plus this is 5 plus 1 is 6 is equal to 0 now we'll check these quadratic equations if it will give a real solutions now to check if it will give a real solution we'll use the determinant formula so from the determinant formula, whereas the determinant formula it is the determinant is equal to b square minus 4ac for the first solution here. To check for this first solution, it will be the determinant is equal to b square. It will be this 9 square. Then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is this negative 22 then it will be determinant is equal to 9 square is 81 then negative times negative to be positive 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 2 is 8 so it will be determinant is equal to this plus this is 9 this plus this is 16 now this value is greater than 0 so into here we have real solution so we'll continue to solve for this quadratic equation here which is this quadratic equation we we'll write it here it will be this quadratic equation which is x square plus 9x minus 22 is equal to 0 so if it has real solution we'll solve this by grouping and factorization now let's check for this second solution here we'll check this second solution by using the determinant formula which is this so from the determinant is equal to b square it will, for this solution it will be 9 square 
then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is this 60 then it will be determinant is equal to 9 square is 81 then minus 4 times 60 is 240 now this value is greater than this whereas this is negative so the value of this minus this is negative value so this is the value of the determinant should is less than zero so if we, this value is less than zero so no real solution so if no real solution we reject this solution because we have because we are funding for real solution the complex solution is not suitable to solve for the factorial problem now so from this here this second phase solution this can be solved by grouping and factorization so this is same as x square then plus 9x is same is by grouping and factorization this 9x is same as 11x minus 2x then minus 22 is equal to 0 now into here x is common so we take x out of bracket x squared divided by x is x 11x divided by x is 11 so plus 11 bracket then into here negative 22 will take out of bracket i mean negative 2 will take out of bracket negative 2 x divided by negative 2 is positive x negative 22 divided by negative 2 is positive 11 bracket is equal to 0 then from here x plus 11 is common so we'll take x plus 11 out of bracket then this divided by this is x this divided by this is this negative 2 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution x plus 11 is equal to 0 and this second solution x minus 2 is equal to 0 then from this first solution we take 11 to the left side so it will be x is equal to negative 11 the first value of x and here we take negative 2 to this side to be x is equal to 2 now from these two values of x we'll check if this it will vary, be verified into our problem now from our problem which was x plus 6 bracket factorial over x plus 2 bracket factorial is equal to 1680 now for this problem here to be satisfied or to check for these values here if we to satisfy this denominator here this value of factorial here this expression here x plus 2 inside the bracket x plus 2 it should be greater than or equal to 0 so as this to be satisfied to, to satisfy in our equation now we'll take this 2 to the right side so it will be x is greater than equal to negative 2 now for this condition that the value of x must be greater than or equal to negative 2 but into this up uh, the answer we got this is negative 11 is less than negative 2 it should be greater so this solution here is not possible and for this x plus 2 this is greater than negative 2 so this solution here is the correct answer for the value of x in this uh, problem now let's check if this value of x is equal to 2 is correct to check if we would satisfy in our problem because the condition x must be greater than negative 2 now we substitute the value of x into here and here if we will give this one so here if we substitute here 2 it will be 2 2 plus 6 is 8 factorial over 2 plus 2 it will be 4 factorial is equal to this which is 1680 now from this 8 factorial to have common 4 factorial 8 factorial is same as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial then over this 4 factorial 
is it equal to this 1608 now to simplify this 4 factorial we cancel this 4 factorial so it will be 8 times 7 it is 56 then times 6 times 5 it is 30 is it equal to this 1608 now here it will be 0 3 times 6 it is 18 go with 1 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16 which is equal to this 1608 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x it is equal to 2 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye